we go. It's not completely done. Right. Captain, Captain, how big was this pipe? 62 right? and an eighth. So, what is 62 and an eighth cut in half? I don't know. Where's your, where's your phone? 34. I want you to put this in your phone. 34. And a 16th. Wait. It's 62? Uh, 62 is 34? Did you get, add numbers? So it would be how much? 31. Okay. And a yeah, 16th. Four. A 16th. Okay. All right, grab your tape measure. Where's your marker? I don't have, you have, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna set this up. What's a 16th? So 16th is the first line. So the little line. See, so go right there and see the little line. Okay. And now what you write on here is CL. So this is your center line, CL. So that now you know that this is exactly the center of the pipe. So when you want to put the bumper on, and the bumper I think is 31 inches wide, that's how you're going to know to mark your centers. So this is the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to go over to Bentec. And let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Part details, bend order. So it's gonna be four and we'll say three quarters because it's gonna be not that critical. And a bend angle of 53. Four and three quarters from the end. We're gonna mark four and three quarters from each end. So four and three quarters. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Let me just make sure I made that right on the other side. Go to the other side. Did you do that many flashlight? You don't need to. Take this and that green mark we made. All right, come here, take a look. See right there? Yeah. See how it's right on the edge of it? So that's how you do it. So what you do is tighten that up. And see how this rotates a little? Yeah. You're gonna tap on it. I don't know how you do the next one all by yourself. So this not stop moving. You see the green is still there? Yeah. So.
Now go hold this up to the, the back of the car and let's see what it looks like. I'll hold one side, you hold the other. Yep. So, yeah, I think the 53 would have been a little too much, so that's perfect. <laughs> so now, <laughs> what are you lifting? You lift, bro? Show them how you lift. Come on, press it. No, over your head is press. No, what are you doing, a clean now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what I am going to do is I'm going to sleeve these because I'm going to have the second pipe going into these. So now when the other pipe comes to it, this is like a quarter inch wall now for this length. So it will take the pipe that's coming up to it and the pipe that's coming from here to here. So I'll give it a little more strength. Alright, so there's the top bar done. These sleeves also allow us to adjust for any variation front to back. So, the other thing is the car is still at stock height. This thing is going to be slammed. So this should be, will be about here on the tire when it's done. So all the way down here. So what I may have to do is I may cut these shock towers because I don't know what it's going to be with the springs I have. So, but there's a start. Things starting to look like a car. Now I'll get the bottom bar done. But... So my goal for this is that he wants to, he wants to start drifting and he has to help. I'm not just gonna hand them this car and say, here you go, go smash it up, even though that's what I know is gonna happen. But he has to put in the work on this car. And what I want him to do is learn something out of this process. You know what I mean? A lot of people can just go to some place and have this shit done. But I want him to be able to do it himself. When I grew up, it was a necessity to learn how to do this. Otherwise, I would have been driving a stock car. I didn't have the money to do this stuff. I learned out of necessity. And in that case, I feel that anybody can do this if they put their time into it. It may seem like a lot off the bat, but if you put your time and work into this, you can become a very good fabricator or a very good engine builder, a very good turbo system builder. You just have to put in the time. When I learned how to TIG weld, I sat in the basement for two months straight, learned how to TIG weld, because the shop I was apprenticing at said, you can't do that, you're not able to do that, so we're not even gonna teach you anything. So I sat in my basement for two months, bought a machine, sat in my basement for two months, and learned how to weld. Then I brought a piece back to him, an intake manifold that I built, first one ever, and was like, look what I made, and they were like, holy shit. So they saw that I had you know, dedication to my craft. And they, once they saw that, they pushed on and showed me more stuff, which made it easier to do this stuff. So don't ever give up, keep pushing forward. And that's what I'm gonna teach him, is that he can do whatever he wants, whether it's building cars, welding, or anything in life. Whatever you do, push forward and you can do it. Hey, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like this stuff, but, this is his ride, and this is just the start. So this thing is gonna get tore up by us. It's gonna be great. I can't wait. I'm gonna destroy this thing too. <laughs> We're gonna have father-son 
uh, test to see who's better. So, what do you think? Looks nice. Think you can smash into some shit? Yeah. <laughs> Easy, bro. It's not welded all the way. <sighs> hey, what's up? So, James had to go home. Uh, I'm going to blast out this bumper real quick and finish it up before the Christmas break. So, I'm not going to do much talking for this. I'm going to put it on time lapse and let it rip. So I got it bent. It matches up perfect. Now I got to make the pieces that go down to get my spacing. And I also have to make the pieces that go from here down. So I'm going to cut a couple pieces out. Hey, so if you're going to notch something and it's going to be in a straight line, uh, there's a quick way so you don't mess up your notches and get them off center where it, it's kind of, they don't fit correctly. So what you do is put something straight against it. Let that dry for a second. Now that gives you your notch line so you're completely straight. So now I just got to see how much I have to notch to fit around this tube. Be right back. So what I did was, I notched to receive the bumper bracket right there. So I don't think you're going to get much better than that. So now here's where the fun start happening. Realistically I should take this off the car and do it on my bench, but I want to fit it completely on the car so it doesn't twist or anything like that. So. I'm gonna ratchet strap the bottom bar to the top bar, and then I'll get it centered, tack weld it, do the outer bars, and maybe an inner bar, and then I'll see if I like it without the diagonals. So that's it ratchet strapped up. I'm gonna make two more end pieces before I tack weld it to make sure the spacing is correct. And then I'll decide if I want to do diagonals. So there we go. It's not completely done, but I still gotta make the diagonal down and then reinforce the sides, but so I'm going to call this his learning bumper because I'm sure he's going to smash this thing up and I don't want him to fuck the car up completely. So once he gets good, I'll probably change this to a smaller type bumper, but until then, it's going to be protective. Thanks for watching.